next is Tina Gaines back with the Voter Information Committee. I have been joined uh, for these interviews with my colleague, Emily Milan. Thank you so much for partnering with me in this. And we have one last interview for you. We um, have been interviewing candidates today for the uncontested races. We're here with Joanne Brown, who is also running for the second spot, uh, Brooks Free Library as a trustee. Welcome, Joanne. And Emily has the first question for you. Nice to be here. Thank you so much for coming. So our first question for you is, why are you running for office? I have been a lifelong library user, and I was very attractive, attracted to this role. I've also been a library trustee for the last 12 years, and I wanted to continue. There's some unfinished business. Excellent. Thank you. Mm. Thank you for that, Joanne. So, um, because you're an incumbent, um, what experience and skills have you brought that you have really found um, have really benefited you in this role? What could you share with us about your experience and your skills and how they played into this position? I'm very stubborn <laughs> and I don't like to see things that are broken. Mm -hmm. And I like to think that I know how to go about taking care of that or finding a solution. Yeah. Excellent. And. This, the first thing I do when I move to a town is find the library and establish a relationship with it. This has been a wonderful library. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So is there something in particular that you hope to accomplish during this term? Yes. Over the, the last few years, I know that Emily, has, Emily is at the library and has, has seen some of the um, commotion that I have caused <laughs> in trying to um, take care of some problems that we've had in the past. Um, the carpeting had been a long time problem and we were able to do that. Unfortunately, it was um, as the summer had started or just before the summer had started and, and it was not an easy thing to accomplish, but it was done. Um, I've also been instrumental in helping to have the, the children's room uh, refitted with furniture so it's a, a very attractive, cozy place for children and their parents. Um, and what I have been disturbed by for many years is the exterior appearance of the library and I have been focusing on that at least for five years, um, trying to get the exterior of the his this historic building restored to its glory. And the more I, every time I look, walk pat back and forth in front of the library, I'm reminded that this needs to be done. Mm -hmm. It's a, a cornerstone of our, our community. It is the, the most the building in town that gets the most use that is a, a historic building. And then the children's section of the library dates back to 1850. That in the middle part of the library are very old and need to be restored. Mm. And that's my focus for the next th few years. Thank you for sharing that, Joanne. Uh, right before we began the taping, you uh, were sharing with Emily and me about uh, how special this library is. It's a special library. What makes it so special? The staff. Mm. The staff is wonderful. And I hear repeatedly how helpful everyone is. No matter where I am, people are telling me how much they love the library. Wonderful. Thank yes. you, Joanne. Thank you very much. Joanne, thank you so much for joining us. And again, for our viewers, that is Joanne Brown, who is running for uh, Brooks Free Library trustee. And again, the election is next week, May 16th. And we have interviewed today the candidates for the five uncontested races, but their names will be on the ballots. So hope you have enjoyed getting to know them. So when you cast your ballot next week, again on May 16th, you'll know who you're voting for. So I want to join, uh, thank my colleague Emily, who has, you know, joined me for all of these interviews. And thank you uh, to everyone who has come, Joanne, you included, and everybody before you. And again, May 16th, um, I think it starts, uh, 
8 o'clock, 7 o'clock. The polls open at 7 o'clock and run until 8. So make sure you make time. It's a very important local election, and we'll see you there. Thanks so much. This is Tina Games with the Voter Information Committee.